Hi, my name is Dan Barkis, and today I'm going to introduce you to the TigerGraph Machine Learning Workbench. In short, the Machine Learning Workbench is a framework allowing you easy access to develop graph, AI, and machine learning models on top of a TigerGraph solution. So let's talk a little bit first about what is GraphML and why is it important. Um, so as you may know, graphs allow us to store information as a structure of relationships, and that allows us to more easily describe how data relates to each other. And due to those relationships, that essentially gives us even more data, because now we understand not just a data point on its own, but how it relates to other data points that we may have as well. So thanks to now that additional edge and connection data that we have from our graph, we're able to use that in a machine learning model essentially as additional features. So we're essentially able to take our data and by understanding how it relates to other pieces of our data, generate more features that we can use to more accurately train a machine learning model. Now, one of the things that happens here is that graph data doesn't necessarily have a particular shape. Your graph can be however big, however small, however interconnected as the data that it's representing. Traditionally with machine learning, we're used to Euclidean data, things with a fixed shape, series of values, grids of image pixels, not something that can be multidimensional and interconnected and take any sort of form like a graph. Because of that, we need to create embeddings of our graph information. And that's one of those reasons that we need the tools like the machine learning workbench in order to generate those embeddings. That way we can take this complex graph structure and still fit it into a format that we can easily feed into our machine learning model. One of the areas where graph machine learning really excels with organic types of data, things like molecules and proteins and language and these structures that sort of naturally flow and fit into each other and can't just easily be represented by a bunch of rows and columns. So let's talk a little bit about how graph machine learning is used in the real world, who's using it and what some of those use cases are. So first we'll start off with Amazon, who is using graph neural networks for demand forecasting. Amazon has a bunch of different sellers, they all sell different products, and there are a bunch of buyers who are buying different things, and they're focusing on different trends at different points in time. So Amazon wants to be able to know how much of certain products it should stock in order to be able to meet up with those future demands. So they need to better understand their customers, who they're ordering from, what they're ordering, and what trends those products fit into, as well as their sellers, and what products they supply, what customers they end up shipping to and what kind of trends those sellers also fit within. So that is a great situation for graphs because we have all these different interacting data points. So Amazon would be able to create a graph neural network that gave them about a 16% improvement in their ability to predict or forecast demand for products. Additionally, we can talk about Pinterest, who is using graph embeddings to help differentiate items within images. As we talked about before with those organic data sources, images, while the digital representation of them may be Euclidean, a grid of pixels, the actual objects and the description of the image itself is certainly non-Euclidean and definitely fits into our graph space. For example, you can use the context of other objects in an image to determine what a particular object is. So if you have if you have, for example, a railing in an image, that railing is typically found around stairs or railings are typically found near balconies or other areas that you could fall off of. But if in our image, we see that there is an object representing a railing, but it's attached to a bed, we know that most likely this is a bed frame and not a railing because we can look around it and we can see other objects in the room, things that we might recognize as a ceiling fan or as a rug on the floor. And we can say, hey, these aren't things that we usually see with railings. These instead might be a bed frame. Additionally, the drug company AstraZeneca is using graph neural networks in order to look at drug to drug interactions. So how these drugs interact within the complex systems of the human body, interacting with different proteins, people with different diseases, people across different age groups or demographics, all those different things can have effects on how these drugs interact. So we need to be able to keep track of all of that in a data structure and graph works great for that. So now Naturally, being able to feed that graph data into the machine learning model will give AstraZeneca better results when they are looking at those drug-to-drug -drug interactions and other drug-related use cases. 
So let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the TigerGraph machine learning workbench itself. So the machine learning workbench is a framework for easy access to graph AI and machine learning models on top of TigerGraph. It can be hosted either on-prem or in the cloud, so you can run it as a Docker image or you can install it as a standalone application on any particular server that you wish to run it on. It functions as a data pipeline to stream data out of your TigerGraph instance and into a Jupyter Lab environment for easy machine learning and other types of Python integrations. It works with all existing Python machine learning frameworks. Most notably, it will work with PyTorch Geometric, Deep Graph Learning, and TensorFlow support is upcoming. The TigerGraph machine learning workbench also performs common data processing functions, such as training, validation, and testing splits, as well as a few different methods of subgraph sampling to allow you to more easily feed your data into your machine learning model. Please check out the links in the video description for how to get started with the machine learning workbench and where you can visit to view the documentation and get everything installed.